My name is Crystal, it's the 22nd of September 2015. I am walking outside with chest pain. I don't feel very well at all, but I have to go out to get my dinner. I'm trying to sit on a bench for five minutes, please. Um, it's a bit damp, it's been raining, but never mind. A bit of piles won't do me any harm. Basically, I still haven't got a phone after five days. I've, I'm um, looking into getting another one. I think the chest pain is to do with anxiety of being left alone without a phone and no means of support for five days, really. Um, this is opposite Wix, where that man called David met me in a white car who had terrible, unhealthy, unhygienic bottom teeth. Um, who took me to Capstone Park, who I don't see anymore. It's probably one of the reasons why my son has taken the phone away from me, because undesirable men were ringing me up. Um, David is at school. I haven't seen him for two days. Um, um, obviously, I'm going to be out past three o'clock. David leaves school at three. Two on a, two, on a Wednesday. So I'm obviously not a school person. It is just after half past 12 on a Tuesday afternoon and I'm not at school obviously because I'm 47. <sighs> so I've been very, left very anxious and very worried and I have actual chest pain. I'm seeing the doctor on Friday. <sighs> With chest pain comes breathing difficulty, but it's nothing to do with that. Normally when I sit on a bench, I get a drug addict or a drunk come up and sit next to me and ask me to come to Gravesend or to their place. So I'm sitting quietly, minding my own business, and just resting while I get my chest back and my breath. I'm not the only one in this world that lives by myself, I know, I know how hard it can be. But when people say they've come down to look after you, and obviously they don't, it's a bit hard to take really. Um, there's a lot of people off work today, isn't there? Young, healthy people been in McDonald's smoking spliffs bus to Gravesend just sit down and take it easy why do I have to run everywhere and rush there's a fire engine over there oh There is that man from Victoria Road again. We've had a Malcolm's lorry. Malcolm is my mother's brother. Not mine. I don't have a brother and my sister is dead, unfortunately, of multiple sclerosis. There he is, there he goes. Right. That's it for the moment. I'll cut off and see if I can get to the library without being asked for sex. By the way, when I was reported for being a prostitute, though I'm a, a, a woman on a dating site looking for male company, no money has ever exchanged hands when these dirty, disgusting, vile specimens passed me out on dates. The one took me into Ann Summers to try on a bra and said he was going to buy me one and didn't, may I add. I'm actually getting a 36J bra for my birthday. Now which way should we go? I think, look, 
Let's see if they stop for me. Yeah. One evening around 7pm, a car went through a red light as I was crossing the road. My son has red trainers, so does this chap. Car door slammed and I've got chest pain, thank you. Doesn't make me angry, it just makes it hurt. So back to what I was saying about when the job centre pulled me in for being a pro, a prostitute, a hooker. Linda said to me that she thought it could be an ex-partner who's jealous. Or perhaps she's right and I wish they'd leave me alone. When you say your son's taken your phone, Everybody seems to have a mobile phone strapped to their ear. Is it me? I don't drive. I don't ride a car. There is a similar woman in my block of flats that drives a car. I can't drive. Of course, I don't want her getting into trouble for doing things that I've done or haven't done, or are accused of. At school I was taken the mickey out of because I had funny teeth. Then it progressed to my jobs where I was taken the mickey out of because I had funny teeth. Now it progresses to the library. So I've been able to make no phone calls. If there's been an emergency and my dad has had a heart attack, my mum has not been able to call me. That's my dental surgery. I've got to go in there on the 7th of October. So basically I've just been left. So I'm going to go to the doctors and ask for help on Friday and we'll see what happens there. But when you go to the police and they don't do anything and they blame you and you go to the doctors and they don't do anything when you say serious things, even when you're a child, would you believe? What the fuck is going on? What sort of bloody fucking conspiracy is this? But it's worse than the Hillsborough disaster, if you ask me. <coughs> Coughing as I walk past. It's a conspiracy. They all turn a blind eye and they do so now because they don't like the truth. As a little girl, um, when even a dog bit my knee and they all stood and watched, it didn't even take me to hospital. I mean, what do you do? get to 47 and you just think well fuck it you know your dad's your dad your mum's your mum but I mean punishing a little child <laughs> for fuck's sake and being racist towards my Turkish son and putting Ku Klux Klan posters up in Gloucester Ku Klux Klan posters were all over 
on Alexandra Road because I went with a different coloured man. They hounded me, they threw stones at my window. Racism in this country was disgusting. A little boy had his hair cut off. They're animals. How can you hurt children? How can you abuse children in Great Britain in this today? How can you smack a child in broad daylight? How can you kick a dog? These are questions I want answered as to why I'm mentally ill when a man kicks a dog in broad daylight. And people do do these things. And I want answers to my questions or I should be taking this to high court.